U.S. reiterates travel warning for Lebanon amid rising tensions with Hezbollah. Live updates on Israel-Gaza conflict. The U.S. has reinforced its warning against citizens traveling to Lebanon as the conflict between Hezbollah and Israel threatens to escalate into full-scale war. The U.S. Embassy in Beirut advised citizens to strongly reconsider travel to Lebanon, citing a complex and rapidly changing security environment. NBC reported that some U.S. naval assets are being repositioned closer to Israel and Lebanon in preparation for potential military-assisted evacuations of Americans if the conflict intensifies. According to past and present U.S. defense officials, one of the ship's roles will be to deter further escalation. This week, several nations have urged their citizens to leave Lebanon. On Friday, Jordan warned its citizens against traveling to Lebanon, as stated by its foreign ministry on Platform X. Germany and the Netherlands also advised their citizens to depart Lebanon amid increasing tensions between the Iran-backed Hezbollah and Israel, raising concerns of a broader conflict. These European nations join Canada, North Macedonia, and Kuwait in urging their citizens to leave Lebanon amid escalating hostilities along the Lebanon-Israel border. France, a significant diplomatic player in Lebanon, expressed extreme concern over the severity of the situation. Earlier this month, the U.S. Embassy in Beirut had already advised its citizens to avoid traveling to the Lebanon-Israel border area, the Lebanon-Syria border area, and refugee settlements. On Thursday, the embassy reiterated its advice for citizens to strongly reconsider travel to Lebanon. Hezbollah-Israel Conflict Hezbollah announced on Thursday that it had fired dozens of rockets at a military base in northern Israel in retaliation for Israeli airstrikes. The group reported that four of its fighters had been killed. In response to the enemy attacks that targeted the city of Nabatieh and the village of Somor, Hezbollah fighters bombarded the main air and missile defense base of the Israeli Northern Area Command with dozens of Katyusha rockets, the group said in a statement. The Israeli military reported that approximately 35 launches were identified crossing from Lebanon. Air defenses successfully intercepted most of the launches. No injuries were reported, the statement added. 